It's all you hear. This is why people don't want to be in crypto. Don't listen to them. This is not factual. This is garbage. Let's get to the real question. Part one. What is crypto, right? You keep hearing about crypto. You keep hearing about Sam Bankman Freed, FTX, all these acronyms, FTX, IDO, XLM. It's like almost spilling an alphabet soup and you see every single word in crypto. So of course it's a little confusing. But like I said, I'm gonna make this channel fun. I'm gonna make this channel entertaining. I'm gonna drag you in. I promise when you get to know me and my big loving heart, I'm an amazing person and I will deliver to you the bestesses of news. The best of news. So let's get down to the fundamentals. What is cryptocurrency? So first of all, let's start with the word cryptocurrency. If you may not know what the word crypto is, you damn sure should know what currency is. And if you don't, currency is another name for money. Another little fun fact that people may not know. Money in the crypto space, or in general, is actually referred to as fiat also. If you live in Europe, I'm not talking about the small car, the fiat. But I think it's spelled the same exact way. So that's just a little side fact that you want to jot down maybe. If you're reading somewhere, fiat is actually money. So cryptocurrency is short for crypto. Well, other way around. Um, yeah. So cryptocurrency is basically a virtual or digital currency that uses cryptography to secure transactions. Now, I know you might be asking yourself, what is cryptography? Is that is that the study of tombs and crypts? Like, it's got to do with hieroglyphics and some type of Egyptian... No, 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 it's not, okay? Cryptography is actually the art of writing and solving codes. So now, when I say cryptocurrency, you know, whether it's digital or whether it's virtual is a currency that secures transactions using cryptography. Now you know. They secure those transactions with some type of code or some type of form of writing it. It's an art. Um, and I'm sure many of you have heard the name Bitcoin been, you know, being thrown around for maybe years, months. And I know for a fact a lot of people start to talk about it more and more often because I know when I go out, it's all I hear. And you know, I hear these I overhear these conversations and a lot of people really aren't too informed. So now that you know what cryptocurrency is is in in a small nutshell, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Now, I'm just going to give you a small breakdown and the fundamentals of when Bitcoin was created. So Bitcoin was the first originating name of a cryptocurrency. Um, Bitcoin was created in about 2008. Um, we don't know who it was created by. It could have been created by a person or a group. But whoever it was, maybe some aliens, maybe some entity, maybe it was Elon Musk. Nobody knows. But um, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. What was I saying? Um, yes. And it was made by a group or a person that go by the alias of Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, if you want to know another little fun fact, a fraction of Bitcoin is called a Satoshi. So if you have one Bitcoin, that is clearly one. But now, if you want to buy a percentage of Bitcoin, which you can, you don't have to purchase the whole thing, but I will discuss that in a future video. So a fraction of Bitcoin is called a Satoshi. So like I was saying, it was made by a group of people or one individual that went by the alias of Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, crypto was meant to be decentralized, <clears throat> excuse me, with no regulating authority. You know, basically like the opposite of a bank. Banks are regulated, FDIC insured, and they are very, very centralized. Okay, so, you know, it's the opposite of a bank. It's regulated and centralized. Crypto was made 
to basically cut out the intermediaries. It was meant to be sent from person to person, person to person, so on and so forth. No middleman dipping their hands into your honey pot, trying to take your money that you work so hard for. We're not having it, Sam. And I'm not referring to Sam Bankman Freedom. I'm referring to my uncle, Sam. Hopefully you understand that. Um, so yes, cryptocurrency is digital currency that was meant to be sent from peer to peer. And it was meant to be decentralized and not regulated. Unfortunately, the way things are going today, there is a lot of exchanges that are centralized. Um, is it bad? Not necessarily. Yes, it's kind of a unbalanced, balanced answer. But I, I'm for the people. I'm all about decentralization. I believe crypto is here to stay and it's going to be around for a very, very, very long time. If you'd like to learn more on my next video, I'm going to talk about dollar cost averaging. And that's going to be on part two of the video. Thank you so much for stopping by to crypto at the Dipto. And I will see you on my next video. Please like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And even if you can share this, I'll also appreciate that as well. Crypto at the Dipto, out.